I want to recap uh, what the Daiquiri board does. The Daiquiri board replaces the SC77527P chip that's found in the Cocos. What does that chip do? Well, it helps in the generation of sound and it routes sound uh, throughout the board and out to you know, the TV or external speakers or whatever. So it'll, it'll route sound coming from the cassette. So if you're playing analog sound from the cassette, it'll route the sound you know, through the system. It um, generates sound uh, with the onboard digital to analog converter and it reads the joysticks and it routes sound coming from the cart. Um, this is what it looks like. This is the first revision. So the one that's in the Coco now is slightly different, but uh, basically it's you know the same form factor. Now what I want to test today is the Joy High Res. Uh, and you can buy these at cocoman.biz. Um, very high quality, it's very good. And right now I'm gonna run it with Nitrous 9. So nitrous sign is booting. And this is pretty much a stock VHD image that I downloaded from uh, L. Curtis Boyle's site. Okay, now let's start the shell, G shell. And I just want to demonstrate that uh, I can control the mouse pointer with the joystick. And this is done with the uh, daiquiri board. Now, notice how there's jitter in there. And that jitter is just due to the low precision. You know, this is um, a six bit DAC, right? So, but we can increase the precision. And that's pretty bad today. It wasn't that bad yesterday. Um, by using the Joy High Res. But that does mean I have to make a modification to a configuration file. So let's exit here a second. Oops. Okay. And thank you, uh, Canadian Retro Things, uh, for showing how to do this, or rather, how to edit a file. I watched it yesterday, it's very helpful. I think it's um, VED, right? And the file is env.file. Okay, this is a built-in text header that's pretty easy to use. So I just need to go down to where the mouse configuration is. It's hard to see, uh, the resolution is pretty bad. But it's called PT res, it's a variable called PT res. Right now it's at the zero, which is low resolution. And all I gotta do is set it to one to enable high resolution with the Joy high res. And then, um, once I've changed it, which I just did to Alt-Q, save file, yes, default, enter. Okay, and now I can run the shell again. Now it's not gonna work when I first go in. Okay, and you can see it's not working because I have to set this to high res. And now the jitter is gone, basically. And I have much finer control, you know, over the mouse pointer. And so let's go and play a game. I happen to like uh, the Pac-Man version they have on here. And so I have to set this now to, I guess, regular resolution to play because it will not play in high res mode. But you can see I can control Pac-Man with the joystick. And 
let me die here a second so you can hear this sound is being generated. Well, I can pause it too, that's pretty cool. So the daiquiri board works well. You know, I would say that it's, it's pretty good. That funkiness that's, that shows up playing Photon, I don't know why that is. Uh, but I'll keep investigating because hopefully one day I can fix that. Okay. See if I can get out of Pac-Man. Yeah. And here we go. Let's go back into high res mode. And you can see that the mouse pointer is still working. So again, thank you CRT for showing you know us how to edit a file. Um, and uh, I guess, who else? Let me think. Oh, Curtis for, of course, documenting all this. I saw which variable needed to be changed. And uh, in Coco Man, Jason, uh, for this nice, nifty, high-quality Joey High Res adapter.